It's amazing what you can create when you know your tools. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. In this episode, we're going to recreate this patch of a bird song pattern thing that I made using Propellerhead's Thor. Now you can utilize any other type of semi-modular or modular synthesizer as long as you have access to a self-oscillating filter, an LFO, a step sequencer with some proper controls to it and some way of routing your modulation sources and destinations, which you would have if you were using a modular or semi-modular synth. We're going to start clean by loading up a reset patch and going into the knob section. And the first thing I'm going to do is to remove the oscillator because we don't need it. What's going to produce the sound in our patch is the filter and that's why it's so important that it can self oscillate. And I'll demonstrate by pulling up the resonance knob to the maximum. Now listen to this. Let's pull up on the sustain for the amplifier envelope. And this is what's going to produce notes when modulating the frequency knob inside the low pass filter here. Now for my patch, I set the knob at a default value of 738 hertz. The next thing we need to do is to use an LFO to modulate the frequency knob. And it's because we want our note to behave in a particular way. This is where it gets a bit quirky for those of you who uses any other type of semi-modular or modular synthesizers. You might not have access to a whip waveform as I'm using right here. This is what's going to produce that special behavior of my notes. But I suggest you experiment with the waveforms and switch between different ones and I'm sure you'll find something you'll like. The next thing we're going to do is to make sure that the LFO restarts its cycle every time I hit a key. But we can't hear any changes because we're not yet affecting the frequency knob of the filter. To do that, we go into the matrix, open up the first slot, choose LFO1 and send that to filter one frequency. And I'm gonna turn up the value here so you can hear what happens. And now you can hear that whipping sound I was talking about. So we're gonna turn it down to 28 because after my experiments, I discovered that 28 would be the best value for my patch. We also need to set the right rate for our LFO. And from my experiments, I discovered that 5.36, come on, 36 Hertz would do great for my patch. quite fast. And now we go into trying to make our bird sing. And we do that with the help of the step sequencer. First, we need to make sure that the step sequencer is running when we press a key. So to do that, we go into the first slot, go down, choose MIDI key, gate, and send that to the step sequencer trigger. And we're gonna turn that up fully. But nothing's happening and that's because the sequencer is off. So I'm gonna turn this to one shot and one shot means as soon as I press the key, it's just gonna run its cycle. We already have something bird-like, but it's gonna sound much better when we're done. The next thing we're going to do is to shorten our pattern. So it only plays 12 steps. And we also need to unsync the rate of the step sequencer playing, but we're gonna keep it at eight hertz. Right, we're going to fiddle with the gate length of the step sequencer. And the gate length sets the length of the played note inside each step. Let me demonstrate. I'll turn these down. And I'll turn these up. Now to recreate the type of pattern I made for my patch, we need to turn the first four knobs of the first four steps to 64%. And I won't make you watch the entire process. I'm just gonna edit this out. And the rest of the eight steps need to have their gate length knobs at 75%. And I'm not gonna make you watch this one either. I'll just edit this out. There we go. 
So the changes are very minute, but the first four steps have notes that are just a tad shorter than the rest of the eight steps. Now the next thing we need to do is to go into the step duration tab and the step duration sets the time for how long a step is being played. To demonstrate, I'll just shorten these and lengthen these. Now to recreate the stepping we had in my bird patch, we need to make sure that the first four are at six fourths, six, six four. I don't know how to pronounce that, but you can see the number right here. Now the next four steps need to be at five, eight. And this can take a long time, even if you're a beginner or if you're experienced. But I do suggest you experiment with stuff like this because the end result can be so rewarding. So the last four steps need to be put at four, three. And now our patch sounds like this. Now it's starting to sound much more like a bird, but there's still something missing, the change in notes. And to do that, we're going to use the curve knobs right here. And we're going to set this up in the routing matrix. So we're going to choose the step sequencer curve knob row, and we're going to send those values to filter one frequency. So these knobs will be controlling the filter frequency. Oh, and let's not forget to put a value in here. We need to make sure that the filter frequency knob is receiving some data from these knobs. 40 was a good number after my experiments. And to show you what this will do, let's turn these up and turn these down and play it once. Okay, so to recreate the notes that were in my bird patch, we need to make sure that the first four steps have their knobs at their fullest. And then the rest of the eight is going to be put at 36. And I'm not gonna make you watch this entire process either. And there we have it. First four knobs at 127 full value and the rest of the eight knobs at 36. And now our patch sounds like this. Now there's one more thing I just want to do. You see in Thor we have these extra performance elements right here, two knobs and two buttons. And I wanna use this knob to change the pitch of our bird song by going into the routing matrix, choosing the first slot, going down into modifiers as they're called, choose rotary one, and then we send that to the filter one frequency knob. And from experience, I know I'm going to turn this up to 50, sorry, 45. Let's go to the keyboard page and listen to this. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I've also got a Patreon page and you can see the address right here and you can also find it down in the description together with an app link for Propellerhead's Thor. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.